If you've played Just Cause 3, then you've probably seen the intro video. It shows that Rico and Shalon arrive in Medici by plane, and at the beginning of the video, they take off from an aircraft carrier. However, that carrier is never seen again. There is a big abandoned carrier at one of the rebel hideouts, but that's clearly not the same one. So, where is it? First up, of course, we need a point of reference of where it could even be. And luckily, we actually get one. You can see a lonely island in the background. That can of course only be one place, Boom Island. And since we got a pretty clear view of it, we can even confirm that the shape matches up. With that out of the way, we can then conclude that the carrier must be somewhere in the southwest region of the map, in order to get a clear view on Boom Island. However, no matter how long you search that area, there is no carrier there. At this point, you might suggest to take a look at the game's files to see if it might be in there, and of course, that's what I did. However, even there is no hint to an aircraft carrier. But then I had another idea. There is a file with so-called bookmarks. Bookmarks are pretty much what it sounds like, but for places. Bookmarks have a name and coordinates, and some other stuff that I have no idea what it does. They were used during development to quickly teleport to places that were being worked on or where new stuff was being tested. And there actually is an entry for a carrier, called Outlaw Carrier, with these coordinates. Mind that these coordinates are not the ones that are shown on the map, but the internal coordinates used by the game. For example, coordinates 000 would be a kilometer underwater in the center of the map, since the sea level is at 1024 meters in height. The only way to use these coordinates are with debug exes or with the Just Cause 3 multiplayer mod. However, even here, there is no carrier to be found. This is also not the right place, since it brings you to the rest of the map. At this point it's pretty clear that it's not actually a place in the final version of the game. But if you've seen my last two videos, you know what this means. We will take a look if it can be found in the Just Cause 3 beta. This version of the game is from around half a year before the game's release. So this is our best bet to actually finding it. Well guess what, after searching the area I suspected it being in, I actually found it after a while. It's pretty much in the middle of the ocean, in between Drakon and Boom Island. And this might be a bit disappointing, but it's not actually a carrier, but really just a floating runway with a tower, since that's all you ever see in the cutscene, so there's no need to add detail that's never seen. Pretty much all there is are a few NPCs and some rebels on the tower. That's really it. I gotta say I hope for a little more, but being able to walk here at all is already pretty cool. I will definitely do a lot more showcases of special places in this beta, so be sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that. And that's pretty much it, but here's a few other fun observations for you. This NPC in the carrier is smoking her phone, and then just grabs another and uses it the wrong way. Boat drivers in this version of the game, for the lack of a better term, are just special. This one is drifting the boat, this one doesn't know how to use a jet ski, and I don't even know what this is and half of them somehow drowned. It's also interesting that the ocean actually has this effect where it warps the surface when a boat goes over it. This was removed and doesn't look nearly as good now. Well, that's all I got for you today. As always, the link to the beta is in the description if you want to explore it yourself. I hope you enjoyed the showcase and I'll see you next time.